Hi guys, Coach Cheyenne here, video number two. So today we'll be talking about what are the 10 most important things that you need in your golf bag. We'll start with 10 and work our way down to the most important thing and five of those items you can find in your own house, just like this. I'll show you all 10 steps. Make sure to click subscribe and push the bell so you get notified with any updated videos that I have coming out. Let's get started. Step number 10, I think is the most important one, which is snacks. As a woman, we all know that sometimes we get hangry and the worst thing you could possibly want is to get hangry on the golf course. So make sure you have something as simple as a granola bar in there that you can just have and you don't have to keep replenishing unless you eat one. It's very simple, go somewhere in your cabinet and find a snack. That's number 10. Step number nine. Now that our belly is full, let's protect our skin and our face. So, sunscreen. Sunscreen, very important for your whole body and for your face if you're not going to wear any type of protection as headwear. And one of the things I love is chapstick. If it's cold or hot, it's always great to protect your lips as well. If you already haven't watched my last video on what to wear on the golf course, I highly suggest protecting your head with a hat. So, if it's sunny outside, I like to just wear a regular golf hat, but if you are a very big golfer and love to play in the cold weather, then you also might want to carry a beanie, or what we call in Canada, a toque. So that's step number nine. Step number eight, other forms of protection, as in band-aids, you never know where you might get a little slit in your hand, and feminine products. If you don't need it, it's always helpful to have in your bag in case you can be able to help your fellow golfer out. So having other forms of protection is very, very helpful. Put in a little bag and slide it in your golf bag. That's step eight. Step number seven, if it's raining, we have an umbrella, we have it in our golf bag, we just slide it in, as well as towel to wipe your golf clubs that you just have clipped on onto your bag. And if you watched my previous video, I talk all about clothing and what to wear, but we will just have a rain jacket in our bags at all times because we don't know when the clouds are just gonna open up. That's step seven. Now for step number six. When your golf ball lands by the hole, you have to use some form of marker to mark your ball in order for you to pick it back up. Now, you could be fancy and go and buy different forms of ball markers, which could be big, they could be little, or you can use something as simple as a coin. So, in Canada, we have the tuning. I over here also have, in England, 25p. And from the States, I have 10 cents. So, wherever you're from, I'm sure you can go into your wallet, find a coin, and you can use that to mark your ball. It's all in your house. The first five steps, are all from your own house. So that was easy, right? Five items knocked off the list already from your own house, but if you don't have any of them, don't panic. All of those five items are nice to have. If you don't have them, don't worry, but the next five are must-haves, so stay tuned. Comment below with the number five if you have any of those five items in your house. Step number five, a golf glove. You only need one golf glove. Now, if you already know the size, small, medium, large, go online and buy your golf glove. If you are a beginner, I would highly suggest going into a golf store, trying it on and buying one. If you are a right-handed golfer, then you only need a left-handed glove. And the reverse if you're a left-handed golfer. But whatever you do, do not buy two gloves, only one. That's step number five. Step number four, we're almost there you guys, tees. Very simple, go online, buy them, they're very inexpensive. You probably need about 10, but they come in bags of 20 or 50. Buy the bundle, you always lose tees. I like to put mine in my hair after I've hit my shot. Easy storage, so that's step four. Okay, here we are, step three, the top three items you need in your golf bag. Balls, essential. They come in a sleeve, which are three balls, and they come in a pack, which are a set of 12. Highly recommend 12. You're a beginner golfer, you need 12 balls, you will 
lose a lot of them, that's fine. We all have. Buy the box. Very inexpensive as well. You can as a starter. Go online, Google it. In the link below, you will find my full guide on all 10 items with details. Balls are on there. I will give you different types of balls which you can go click, buy them. Best thing you can do. And now we're on to step number two. The golf bag itself. Two things you need to make sure your golf bag has. A kickstand like I have mine up so it's propped up. And probably one of the most important things is your strap. Now, if you just have one big strap on your golf bag, it probably means that you have a caddy's bag, which is for the pros. No to that. You want to get a strap, which you can carry your own bag. I'll show you how. So I put my right hand in, I put my left hand in, and then I can carry my own golf bag, just like this. So it needs to have a kickstand and it needs to have a strap. I don't care what color it is, whatever your preference is, and if it has a million pockets, great. We can organize all the past, not eight items we've had, we can organize and put them in our bag. Here's the final step you've all been waiting for. Golf clubs. Now, you can only have 14, one four, clubs in your bag at one time. You have a few options here. First option is, Go to any golf store, walk in and say, hi, I'm a beginner golfer, can you help me? I need a golf set. They will come to your rescue, they will help you with it, you can test them out and you're good to go. Not the most cost effective way if you're trying to just come into golf for the first time, but if you have the budget, go for it. You can check that off your list, no problem. Second option is you can go online, eBay, Craigslist, Google, Type in a few keywords like used golf clubs, secondhand golf clubs, golf clubs for beginners. Any of those three search items will pop up a bunch of things. Check what's in your budget and buy the golf set. A lot of those actually come with the bag, so that's a good value for money. Last option, which is calling the pro shop of wherever you're going to play and asking them if you can rent a set of clubs or borrow them from a family member or a friend. So, if I'm calling the pro shop, I'm like, hi, can I borrow a set of clubs, please? They will ask you if you want a women's or men's set, women's, and then you would just say, how much does it cost? Can I reserve it for X date? That's it. That's all the 10 steps, you guys, and five of them are straight from your own house. So, let's recap. 10 steps, five from your house, five must-haves, and there's a link below with your checklist that you can have in your golf bag. So whenever you want to play golf, you're all good to go. It's free. Make sure you download it. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so I can make more videos like this. Comment with any questions that you have. I'm more than happy to help. I'll be there to answer straight away. Thanks for watching and see you next time.